Thanks for joining me for another beer review. This time we are off to Ringwood Brewery to give their Razorback Craft Amber Ale a try. Uh, it's 3.6% in a 500ml bottle. Picked this up from Asda uh, for £1.5p and that's probably the only reason I really sort of picked it up. Uh, £1.5, I thought might may as well have a double. There's the label, which I quite like. We've got the Ringwood Brewery bottle cap, like a, a hog thing or walk hog on the front. You can see that. So let's get this open, get it into a glass and see what we get. Don't think I've ever had anything from Ringwood Brewery. A little bit lively, just managed to catch it there. Uh, so it should be interesting. See what it's like. I believe they're owned by uh, Molson Coors or Carlsberg Stroke Marston's. I think it says on the bottle. So I don't know how much they actually have to do with this beer anymore. They're out of Hampshire. I'm guessing, you know, Marston's. Uh, what is it? Let's have a look on it. Carlsberg Marston's Brewing. I'm guessing they do all like sort of like the bulk brewing for them. And I suppose they just sort of like work on stuff and hand it over once it's been tried. Anyway, let's crack on. Amber in colour as you can see in the glass. Very little carbonation going up. There are a few bubbles. Uh, crystal clear. We've got a finger of compact white head on top. I mean, it looks like a looks like a nail. Doesn't uh, sort of look anything overly exciting. So let's dive in with the old hooter and see what we got in the nose. <laughs> Not literally put the uter in there. Malty. A little bit sweet. Maybe a little bit of a toffee caramel sort of thing going in on the nose, but very, very subtle that is. Yeah, a little bit maybe hoppy as well. Not huge aromas, but there are some there, just a little bit subdued. So let's give it a try. Cheers, everyone. Hmm. <laughs> let's go in again. The air body's quite, obviously 3.6%. You know, you're not gonna have the greatest body on these sort of beers. It's quite thin, it is thin, there's no denying that. I suppose, you know, for something like that, 3.6%, it's a medium sort of body, I guess. Obviously it's gonna be thin compared to something big and heavy. Well, I'm going to go with medium just to be generous to it. Gentle carbonation. Mouthfeel. You know, again, it's gentle carbonation. You do feel it, but it is quite gentle. And light in body, mouthfeel. Yeah, it's kind of soft, but not the, the smoothest of mouthfeels, taste-wise. You get a malty, hoppy, slightly sweet. Again, maybe them sort of caramel sort of notes in there. You get that for a little bit. You get it for a second. And then they kind of go, and you get you, you you get a gentle bitterness on the back end. But it's pretty short lived. Uh, uh, it's not great, to be honest. I mean, it's typical sort of average supermarket ale fodder, if you like. 
excuse me, 3.6 percent. Yeah, I mean, it drinks 3.6 percent. There's nothing, nothing particularly there. It's got that little bit of a, I don't know, there's, you always get that, I always find off ales that aren't very nice, you, you get this sort of typical sort of tang to it. The bitterness isn't the nicest sort of bitterness in there. Yeah, it's, it's got a little bit of a, a nasty sort of little taste on the back end. Would I recommend it? If I'm brutally honest, I wouldn't. There's got to be better. Well, I know there's better better ales out there than this. Are there better better ales at £1.5p? Probably not, because there's not many ales out there. You know, Banks is doing Ambre Ale at 95p. Uh, I've got Bass coming up at some point. That's £1.30, but I think there was a couple of others as well at £1.5, but they're going to be your bog standard sort of stuff. So... You pay your money and you get what you get really uh, so yeah I mean if you're on a budget if you are on a budget and you want to have a beer I suppose if you're that desperate for it you'll buy it and you'll drink it for me it's not a great ale there are better out there if you can afford to spend another 45p say one pound 50 you, you can pick up a decent beer old peculiar for starters old uh, feastons very decent beer broadside you can get for 150 uh yeah for me if, if you really can't afford that little bit extra by all means go and buy it i wouldn't recommend it if you can afford that extra 45 50p fine tank better so that's it for me excuse me if you've had this beer before let me know what you think Feel free to comment, feel free to subscribe. That's it for this one. I'm going to leave you all in peace, as I do. Oh, excuse me. Repeating on me. Leave you all in peace, as I do. Uh, and I'll see you again soon on another beer review. Cheers.